Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay guys, I got for you for this uh, Sunday evening. I uh, kind of uh, put the Wander Whaler over here in dry dock for about for a day or two. I'll try to resume back more on that. I got a lot of bills coming this way, so I don't want to spend too much time on that. Which take me away from the bills, that way I can rotate back and forth on the bills. So right now, I'm working on a card model right now. And tomorrow will be uh, it'll be Monday. So tomorrow night I'll have a I'll have a video one on uh, Mr. Warren Blanche and my uh, Spitfire buddy group build we got going together. And um, so far I got mine. Uh, I got some stills uh, for the construction on it. Plus I have more following right after that, and they all be posted uh, on tomorrow evening for the. Uh, Update bill report on the buddy build, and uh, like uh, uh, Mr. Warren, he says uh, no time limit on it. So build as long as you want, whatever it takes. You know, got nothing but time. And time's on our side. But time's been on mine pretty good for a while. Get some of these things knocked out a little bit. I got a, a lot, a lot of stuff here, guys. A lot. I took inventory what I got back here. And you know something, I got a lot of models, a lot of stuff. But I'm happy though, because I got it all. If something goes wrong with the world, I don't have to worry about it. I got it all here. As long as you don't run out of glue and paint. <laughs> okay, behind me, I got my 2018 year customary uh, stills. And you'll be seeing the, the live uh, uh, product too as well. And uh, I got her all ready to get done the carriage done on that'd be the next thing. Okay, Alex, but uh, I'll go back and we'll take a look at the stills and we'll go over the stills of uh, the construction, how it's done, and everything. And you guys get the feel of card modeling again. And uh, that way you can use it as a, as a reference. So I'll explain things, how, how the construction phases uh, go by until the, the result of it is now at this stage. Okay, stay focused, boys. We're gonna get close to this uh, to my monitor screen here on my PC. We're gonna go in for a for a good stab here. There we go. Okay, you remember the book that I showed you guys a while ago? Here it is, my hand. Behind it are exploding pieces of the kit that I've already prepared and ready to assemble. So, in the beginning, we'll uh, we'll take the next slide over. Okay, over here is the sheet number one. Well, I took I cut all these parts out over here. Came off this sheet here. All these parts right here have to be cut out. Now, henceforth, on this disc right here, this is your machine gun assembly. You'll see it on the model at the end of this video here. How it's assembled. These have got to be rolled up like a ro roll. Now, cutting out these discs, let me suggest one thing. If you have one shop handy, friendly, go down to Harbor Freight or anywhere. They sell tools and buy yourself a set of hole punchers. Because I don't care how skilled your hands really can be. You cannot cut out a 360 degree radii with a number 11 blade. You may think you got it right, but it's not. <clears throat> you know how you, how you know you don't got it right? We turn the black line over and look at the white side in the back. You can see how uneven it is. So get yourself a hole puncher and place it over a metal anvil. You give a couple of whacks with a hammer and you got disc. And you fill your disc in the end of these cylinders that you just rolled up. Okay, that's only the beginning of the sheet one. Right here is the wing. Very colorful, guys. Very colorful. Here's your bottom wing assembly. This is your prop assembly. These are your connector cabs that fit over your ribs or where your spars are at. Where you join your outer wing panels to the center. You always uh, start with the center panel first and work out your outer panels. This is just an exploded view of the kit. Uh, what comes of the kit. Okay. <clears throat> Here's my engine. 26 pieces to this engine assembly right here. This cylinder, this, this cylinder object is rolled from paper that I cut from the kit. 
I rolled it up by using the wire. <clears throat> Always get yourself a, a wet dish rag. Not soaking wet, but damp. When you're rolling your tube, tube uh, like cylinder objects, always wet your fingers and kind of dab on the paper. What that water will do, the moisture comes off your fingers from the dish rag, will soak into the fibers of this paper and make it a lot more pliable to roll. Because, see, you want to tell you something, when you cut paper out, it's got memory to it. It doesn't want to go the way you want it to go because it always wants to go back to, to its natural state. To get to where you want it to go, you got to break all those fibers. So it's faster to break these fibers while you're just dampening the paper very slightly, very slightly, with the wet fingers up from a, a dish towel or dish rag. Right here, you got your your instrument panel here. I had to cut this out with my hole puncher, wrap it around with card with paper from the kit. I had to roll this into a tube. And I cut all these discs off separately, and I glued them right back on this uh, instrument panel. Here's my seat belts on my seat I made, on the wicker seat they're supposed to have. There's a close-up of it right there. Here's my engine right here. <coughs> That's the brake element right there. That's the interior details. I'll tell you something, these cards are card models of 3D. A lot of people get the, uh, the impression that they're flat like paper, but they're not. They, they are 3D. Here's the Lodge of Rods. They're backed up with cardboard, one millimeter. One, one millimeter. That you need one millimeter cardstock. Thickness of cracker, cracker boxes. Go down to Home Depot, get yourself a big 36-inch uh, by 24-inch board of, of uh, one, one millimeter uh, backing board. You gotta use that to strengthen your structures. And uh, it gives the, gives the strength, the fuselage. Thumbs up. Man with a cigar. Here we go, guys. After assembling the fuselage, lodge of rods and everything in place, this piece I still needs tuning up. I've been burnishing this thing out. So when you burnish something, never use a metal teaspoon or a butt end of a knife. Especially uncolored printing right here. Because what it does, when you go back and forth and burnish it will seem to smooth it out, make them even with the paper, you mar the printing with aluminum. So always use the end or the sharpie uh, pen right there, which is nice and smooth. You can back and forth. That's plastic. It will not bar your, your paper. And there it is in this stay face here. There's the back end of it. You can see I built the engine and how it's forming. I got the, all the parts right here. There's a filler piece right there with one millimeter. And these outer scans of the rudder fit the top here. This is a sandwich. Here's your bologna. Here's your top piece of your bread. This is the bottom piece of your bread. Same thing applied with the tail feathers here. That right there is the gun assembly. <clears throat> here we go. Boy, that would be flash up quick. There it is on the port side. These louvers right here. They're black inside there, and these are louvers here. You got to cut them out and give the illusion of louvers. There's the bottom side of the fuselage there. I'm constantly touching up here, there, and the thing. There's Happy Frank right there with a cigar. And uh, still going strong. And uh, there's more of the guns right there and everything. This light kind of affects shadows in it a lot. But it don't appear that way when you look at it. Let's see, I'm going back trying to take a filter marker, take, taking all this white out. That white out is, is tenuous. 
and uh, so you gotta keep on getting the white out. There's a bob up there. Happy man. Okay, here I is. Alrighty then. Now we're gonna take the camera and swing around and take a look at her now. And uh, I got the guns on there, the Lewis guns, whatever they had. And I've been tilling up really well. There's another view of it. Another view of the fuselage. Underneath it's all been closed up. Something like a Fokker D7. I'm going to make some sights. I'm going to use my hole punchers. I got some acetate clear sights. I'm going to pump it out. I'm going to put a dab of five bit of epoxy there and there. Take my tweezers, put them on there. Then I'm going to start putting my cocking handles on here. Start doing some detail on there. Right now, I'm going to put it aside and let it dry for a while. I'm going to resume on the Spitfire. This thing has come out a lot better than I hoped it would, guys. It's you just got to work with paper, you just got to work with it very slowly. Alrighty then. We're going to camera back to your chili here, finish up the video. Okay, boys, I'm going to take the uh, D7, I'm going to put her over here, out of harm's way. I'm going to start dragging out the Spitfire and do some work on her tonight. And tomorrow night, uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll have a posting of the update build report number one. And Warren will probably have his by this Wednesday, he said. And uh, we'll go through the, uh, the assembly of the Spitfire and what I've done to it and so far. Uh, there'll be, uh, I already got some pictures posted on my, on my pictures already. So that'll be as part of the stills and uh, more stills will follow after that along with the first build report. Okay, guys, uh, I got a lot of stuff coming, coming this way. I'll be working on a building. i get on the wander. I'll probably uh, start working on the wander probably uh, later on this week and, and finish up the shrouds until they get the rat line and start preparing the, uh, the sails and start getting the sails glued on and get all the, the uh, get all the, the uh, all your veins and um, halyards. And also your, your yard stops, get them all rigged up. And this, and lastly, you get the whaleboats all painted up and detailed out and get them all hooked up and paint the few crew figures they give you, which is very few. And uh, the wonder when it'll be done. And lastly, I'm going to take my time working on the whales. <laughs> That's going to be fun. And uh, winter's starting to get here. It's getting very cold and chilly. And that promotes a lot of model building. So while this video is uploading, I'm going to start getting hot on the spit and start shooting some more pictures and stills and have them posted on the pictures I had before time and have for you out tomorrow on the inbox uh, update build report on the Spitfire Bunny Bill. Okay, guys, this is Frankie Day signing off this evening. And it's Sunday, a very gracious day today it is. And uh, everybody out there, uh, build your model, stay warm, and uh, take care of mama. Always take care of mama. Take care of your babies, your children. Take care of yourselves. Spend wisely. It's your home time. Don't uh, go above your means because you'll pay for it dearly in the first of the year. 
So spend wisely and uh, stay focused on the road. You got a lot of rude, impatient people out there, guys. This, this world, especially this time, I, I see fights break out. Unbelievable how humanity has changed. I feel like, you know, guys, before in the video, I just a little, just a little uh, tidbit of how I feel sometimes. I feel like I, pew, I blew off from Earth, landed on a planet that's almost like us. And there's people there just like us, but they're different. That's how I feel. Just people just don't have no values no more. It's very truly sad. It really is. My God, how we evolved in this uh, in this brazen direction. Okay, I'm gonna brazen it out of here with shame. And uh, right now, uh, like I said, take care of Mama and uh, take care of yourselves, guys. And uh, buy yourself a model, drag one out of the stash, build build it, stay warm, and uh, I'll have a, I think I'll have a hangout going on for you tonight. You like that? And uh, so it'll be a short hangout. And uh, tonight's my night off, so I'm gonna have some fun. So I want to work on the spit, get the hangout shaking, and uh, work on the spit at the same time. I have for tomorrow. God bless you guys. And Merry Christmas. And please be safe and spend wisely and take care of your babies and be, take care of mom always and yourself. And be please be careful out there driving because some elements are worse than others due to this uh, winter is coming in quickly. Okay, it's Frankie Day signing up for Frankie Day Models. God bless you guys. Take care, boys. Catch you tomorrow night on the spit.